Hello and welcome to Pokemon TCG Center. Today I will talk about top 10 supporter cards uh, that uh, you should probably uh, want to have at least a few of them uh, for your uh, deck buildings. So basically those 10 supporters that you can see right now on the screen uh, they should be pretty much uh, staple or core and pretty much uh, all decks. So let's first start with Ace Trainer. So Ace Trainer is a new supportive card, something like N, uh, but uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, weaker than N, because uh, in order to play this card, uh, you need to draw, uh, you need to. Uh, uh, you need to have more prize cards left than your opponent. So basically, you need to uh, knock out something first before your opponent, and uh, you need to take advantage. So I can see this card uh, good from the on the start. If you can just uh, take a fast knockout on your opponent's uh, Pokemon and just play it and draw six cards, and you uh, put your opponents to three cards. So basically for the standard format uh, in 2015-2016 I can see this card be playable but not uh, as a playset, maybe two of them as a tech. The second card that you should probably play in almost uh, all decks should be a AZ. You can just put one of your Pokemon into your hand and discard all cards attached to that Pokemon. So, if you play a Crobat variant of deck, you should probably play a AZ. Of course, you can just uh, scoop up a Shaman EX in each deck with a AZ and play it again and draw a fresh new hand. Of course, Lysander should be a core in pretty much all decks. I can't see any deck running without Lysander because Lysander is just a Pokemon catcher but without coin flip. So basically you should play Lysander times 2 in each deck that you made. Pokemon Center Lady, uh, I can see this supporter be uh, pretty strong in the uh, new standard format. Heal 60 damage and remove all special conditions from one of your Pokemon. So not a bad card to play. Especially you can play just one in your deck with Versus Seeker you can have a few of these so not a bad to have at least one depending on the deck type. Professor's Birch Observation, I can see this card as a core supporter in pretty much all decks in the uh, new standard format. I, 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 sh I should give uh, this card a, a little bit advantage over Shauna because you need to flip a coin with heads, you draw 7 cards, with tails you draw 4 cards, of course you need to shuffle your hand into a deck before you do that. Uh, basically with Shauna you will be able to draw uh, for sure 5 cards, but if you get heads you draw 7 cards, if you get tails you draw 4 cards. I know that 1 card can be crucial in some moments, but if you ask me, I would play 4 Sycamores, 4 Birch Observations, maybe 2 Shaunas, or maybe 2 Ace trainers or maybe two Shauna's one ace trainers for a draw support. As I mentioned before Shauna you should also play this card depend on the deck type shuffle your hand into a deck draw five cards I mean it's not a bad card to play especially when you have ultra ball for shaming so you can just set up and draw more additional cards. Uh, one of the strongest supporter, I should say, in the format, uh, Teammates. Teammates says you can play this card only if one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Even if your opponents uh, knock out your Robo Substitute, for example, you'll be able to search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. So, no more than one teammate you should play in your deck. I can see this card be playable in a lot of decks. Winona, of course. This card is a core supporter, if you ask me, you should play at least one Winona in your uh, Colorist Requaza deck. Why? Because you'll be able to search your deck for up to three um, uh, Colorist type Pokemon, reel them and put into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. So you can put a Swablu um, or maybe Altaria uh, so you don't have a weakness 
with your uh, requests. You can search for shaming, requaza, you can play shaming for setup and a lot of crazy things so pretty much not a bad supporter i should put it in the top 10 for sure and last one should be a zero sick in the top 10 supporters for the standard 2015 2016 x and y on format zero sick why zero sick because you'll able to choose pokemon tool or special energy card attached to a pokemon in play your or your opponents and discard it so pretty much Zero Seek uh, should be run in 90% of decks. I mean, just one copy of Zero Seek is good to have. So, pretty much top 10 supporters for the uh, new standard format. As you can see right there, I just uh, can't uh, imagine uh, you don't play some of these supporters uh, in your uh, deck. So. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more future videos, don't forget to comment video if you have any questions or if you like it, don't forget to hit a like button. So thank you once again, have a nice day and goodbye.